morning and thank you for joining us. This is today's live on Equa Television International. I'm super excited because I have the full squad in the house. You know, whenever I'm around them, I feel covered, you know, from any threat. I, I, I can tell you that um, if you are looking for a squad that um, you will learn a lot from, you know, once you have this squad, I think uh, just settle there. I have Joyce Jakada. This, 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 hype in there, <laughs> <laughs> this hype in I, I hope I'm able to deliver. <laughs> I hope I will not fall your You eyes. always wow. do. I, know, I, I, I trust. I trust. Right. No, you, you, you always deliver. That's that's what I mean. You know. On oh, Christ, the solid rock I stand. So yes, uh, I'm, I'm. I'm not. I'm not scared. Mm. Philippians four thirteen says, "I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me." So mm. we are together. Yes, yeah. yeah. I have prudence, Ruga. Good morning, but mm, good morning. But this good morning has like this. The way you are, you were praising. I, I'm. Sh- I, I'm just hoping that <laughs> those outside are not thinking that we're some gods. That we're, please. No, 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 we are no, human no. beings like you. We don't have everything in our heads. <laughs> because they, this hype is over. They know I'm saying the truth, you know. Once you are here, they know, yes. Uh, okay. You understand? <laughs> I, I, and I, I, just, I just hoped that the, the hype, I felt like it was just, wow. And they wanna I was wondering whether they were talking about, whether I was part of you what are, you were talking are, about. You <laughs> and one and only Jemima, Emmanuel. Good you know, Joyce's mentor. <laughs> Prudence, Prudence came in between. I don't understand. Kicking against my point of view, whether in yesterday's reality, yeah, in today's, today's reality, reality or tomorrow's, tomorrow's reality. You know, I people that are close, mm. they always fight, mm. then they become stronger. Stronger. Okay, Prudence and Javira. No, one woman stands. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm so happy <laughs> to be around you guys, you know, and last then I'm the last man standing. So that's why I can brag. And, you know, uh, any house you find women that are hardworking, intelligent, and then they are loving and caring. It's, it's difficult for the man in the house to suffer. Yeah, you did a politician. <laughs> Take your flower. Yeah, you did a politician. Take your flower. Should I throw it? <laughs> you imagine I'll be coming and be like, do you do you know what? Can you hear what Hassan to He said, yeah, nah, ina. Ina Hassan. Yeah. <laughs> Just sit down first. Uh, I'll take care of it. Take, take care, care of it. You know. <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, viewer out there, we are so happy that... Uh, you choose this uh, particular program to be one of your f- favorite and you follow us, you know, back to back. And then we want to appreciate you for your contribution. You know, all the topics that we are treating, you are part of us and we're proud of you. And today, you know, we're going to still look at um, the educational um, angle, you know, because today we normally look at uh, education. And today we want to s- talk about uh, career choice. Why school? I'm tempted to begin by throwing this question. Okay. Um, over the weekend, I read a post from a business coach. Mm. And he said, if you are to drop your qualifications, what would you have left to earn you a living? Mm. And I think I should still ask that same question. If you are to drop your educational qualifications, PhD, master's degree diplomas all those courses you do and all of that Mm. that you're probably probably using now to earn a living if a decree a law is being made that renders all of this qualification useless what would you have left to earn you a living Mm. i'm seeing somebody already saying i can drive it will not affect (laughs) me (laughs) <laughs> of course it will not affect you <laughs> because now from his point of view there's something so mm. like i've always maintained let's see education beyond the four walls mm. this is a very deep question that calls calls for reflection i'm I, already reflecting i see a lot of people brag about qualifications mm. well, just just what if 
we're not even talking about the what is as it stands now the economy reality that we found ourselves the just that qualification that you have is it enough to pay the bills i've seen professors farming i've seen doctors owning like poultry farms like i've seen people like their eyes are now open to the reality of the world that we are in people are trying to have different streams of income why they don't want to be liability to themselves to their families or to people around them mm. like think about how that some people invested a lot in sending one person in the family to school only for you to finish and come back confused i i, I watch a movie where the father every morning he wakes up he, he looks at his son and he says wasted investment mm. ah, at some point i was i was I, 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 oh guys enough now Papa rest, but Papa they vex. Like after selling his land, doing everything, the, the guy actually went to school. He graduated with first class hmm. from that village he came from. But he went to the city to school and he graduated in his department with first class. And then yet he he finished. There was no job for him. So every morning he goes out with his brown envelope, walking from one company to the other. There are no opportunities for him. He travels, he goes for interview, yet he didn't get the job. And he comes back home just when he's about to pick the cup to drink water. The father will say, you are even drinking water in my house. Wasted investment. Mm. He sees him passing. Wasted investment. But it's not he wants to eat. Fault. Wasted he investment. Did, he played his part very well. If he had not completed his school mm. and was a dropout, mm. he failed, then that is wasted investment. But it's not his fault that but, but he's not getting a job. Do you know the I'm expectation I'm of the father? It's <laughs> the way the society <laughs> has turned out to I'm be. So I, I, I think kudos should be given to the boy first. Okay. And there may be more encouragement to keep going and mm. keep looking for it again. But I think the father was not nice. <laughs> That you was see, mean, you, you know. See, that, yes. that, that, that's one angle of it. All. We're talking mm. about career choices, and we just spoke about how the father just feels like this child is a wasted investment, mm. and because of that, a lot of parents have pushed their children to do things that um, that's not their choice. Mm. So, so you find that this father says, "Oh no, my child has to be a doctor, a medical doctor," mm. and this child tells you, "No, I actually want to do music." And this parent is like, goes like, you think music will feed you? Would music do anything to you? But that's the person's passion. That's what he wants to pursue. That's that's the life he wants to live. And and this parent is just bent on saying, okay, you have to do this first. This first. See another instance. This child is artistic. Braids. Oh my goodness, she can make hair for the world mm. and it just comes easily to her whatever style she just mm. she's just that creative mm. but the parent says no i want to be i want you to read law mm. and you have to read law mm. and she doesn't have any ist- interest in law but she pursues it because that's the expectation of the parent mm. that's what happens most times in career choices we find a lot of factors affecting your choice in career you might just have to do it because i want to please my parents mm or because the society thinks that this is what is acceptable that's what career that's one of the factors that affects us in this part of the world mm. a lot of times is like if you're not pursuing a white collar job then you have no career mm. if you're not pursuing something that will make you go to the office and come back you're not pursuing a career mm. little wonder you have a lot of lawyers scrambling around for money some of them are just doing some online stuff right now mm. this, mm. this table we are shaking eh? i hope <laughs> <laughs> i will not be there <laughs> you know wh- why i brought that story was this it didn't end i'm not done with that okay. mm. so the the father kept on like pressuring the son he is like 
he doesn't even have peace of mind in that house he cannot go to bed he cannot drink water and keep up he cannot eat food he cannot see him with friends just talking or laughing the father gets angry because you know that there's this expectation that once you send your child to school and he's done he becomes a doctor and then he buys you car he buys you house like success is tied to 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 you going to the school and that is all I'm not taking away the fact that, see, the school is the foundation where you acquire knowledge. And that's why you see parents, there are parents today that they will tell you, i rather not tie rapper, but my child must go to school. Because they know that that's the foundation of the child acquiring knowledge. Knowledge about society, the world, and how the child can navigate through. It's just exposure to information. We're just glad that with the advent of technology, now this, the, 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 the education has transcended four walls. You can be at the comfort of your home and then the child can learn. There are parents today that are homeschooling their children. Like mm-hmm. you don't have to take the child to the physical, like the yeah, conventional they school. Well. They do the, the that, but they they homeschool the children. But you won't take away the fact that even this interaction between children and all of that is also learning. Yes. Yes. And and that is why I I think to some extent, as as far as we're talking about foundation, mm-hmm. it's good that they have that foundational um knowledge because the experience relating, they are all part of beyond just A B C D. Yeah the interaction that they have with one another, the PE is like that, that moment you go for physical education and all of that. I remember how excited with you. We used to be when it's Wednesday and it's PE day. Like, mm. <laughs> you just don't want the teacher to pick the chalk. <laughs> it should just be about play. Exactly, and yeah. so it gets you excited. At that moment, you... Uh, I liked it. Woo! Uh, hey, hey, hey. I loved it. This one is a leftist. <laughs> <laughs> this is your hey, picture. You can't like eat it even too. <laughs> no, it's not. You it was not about it. You want to shake another table? No, let it me not shake that. One. No, let, let me, let let me her shake it. I forgot <laughs> that they are now too. Let me shake it. <laughs> See, people cannot intimidate us. So my grandfather is a reverend. I'm PK <laughs> by association. <laughs> By lineage, by lineage, <laughs> by, lineage. <laughs> by blood. <laughs> so you see, he kept on pressuring the son. Mm. Eventually, the guy, the guy got tired, mm. and then he decided someone. He went to town, and then a friend sold and sold an idea to him, and he's just joined this cult group. Mm. He'll make money. Make it quick. And he got there. He was asked to sacrifice uh, somebody. I know. <laughs> he said he's giving his father. father. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you know how they do in that part of the mm. world. No, you know he hates the father. It will not be your father. It's the one you love the mm. most. Mm. Ah, the devil will never give you anything free. Mm. He will give you and take ten times what of he course. has given you. Eventually, he tore the wrong part and it it land it ended uh, mm. his life, mm. the, the son. So what? Why? Why am I bringing this story back to the question? If you are to drop the educational qualification, what will earn you a living? We have so tied success. To qualification mm. we have tied wealth to qualification see it's not na- we live in a world where it now it's not about hard work it's about working smart mm. there are people that right now as we speak they are in the comfort of their home and then they are just receiving a lot by mm. seconds mm. why because they have taken time to build that mm. for themselves they have built businesses mm. see when we're talking about rich people in in our world today most of them at some point like they dropped out from school mm. why did they drop out that's the question we should be asking because mm. we're not encouraging people now because mm-hmm. someone will just say ah let me just drop that's out the motivation. That's, that's the motivation for people that didn't go to school <laughs> yeah you know i always say that motivation for people that didn't go to school is seeing people that went to school unemployed, unemployed. They say, see, There's no see these people that went to school in <laughs> fact the story was told of a woman that um is a, she's a widow she lost her husband and then she inherited the husband's business like they sell um, a lot of things is into business and then her sons were also uh, assisting helping but uh, people kept saying ah send them to school send them to school they went to school all the boys like about three or four they graduated and then the expectation you get a job they didn't get the job they went back to the the, the business that they were doing and they, they continued in that line and every day the mom looked at look at them and she gets angry mm. she's thinking that she wasted the money she paid for school fees mm. from 100 level to 4 mm. that it was a waste mm. that if she had used that money to open other biz- businesses or expand her business it would have been better for her mm. and then the other woman that had her just say no you don't have to see that 
they went to school they have acquired the knowledge mm. they will do this business different mm. yes. they will do this business better mm. yes. so my th- the point here is prudence has said the talk we're talking about career choice mm. what influenced your choice of studying mass communication mm. Did you just do that because you went to register with JAMA because you're with your friend and say, let's put mass comp. Mm. Okay, they're asking you that, okay, University of Georgia, there's Faculty of Arts and they have linguistic, they have um, mass communication, they have archaeology, they have um, theater art and then mm. you and your what, friend what will you now, put? what did you, what did you, did you put? put? <laughs> and then your friend will say, I put um, mass communication and you say, okay, ah, okay. please put for us yeah. mass communication. Put for us. <laughs> you yeah, don't like that. and you so just put, put it. <laughs> Put for us mass communication, and then that's that's that that was how you chose the, the mm. career or the path that you you found yourself. Mm. Eventually, you got to school, you are str- literally struggling Strong. because there's no interest, there's no passion, the skill is not there. Mm. There are children that from primary school you see them doing amazingly when it comes to speech or mm. presentation. Yes. When it yes. comes to press club, they are doing very well. Mm. Eventually, you see that they have developed this art of speaking. You see children go to the mirror and they keep talking. They are rehearsing when it's speech and prize. They can't wait for that time. Mm. They are rehearsing and all of that. And they found out that, oh, I could, like, public speaking was a thing for me. And, uh, mommy, I want, to, I, want to, I want to be like this newscaster that I always see on, on the TV. And they are guided to the part of choosing uh, mass communication they go there because of passion and interest they mm. blossom they do well mm. and then contrary to that person i say ah, what did you put you go there you say ah, me save let them do and finish with this lecture is boring this mm. is that you f- you finish and you use there's the job opportunity in media station you are called upon you say eh, anything that is available mm. they say okay go let's let's take the script read and you are literally struggling, struggling with it why because there was no passion, there's no interest, there's no, no skill, there's no connection. It was just some, oh, let's just do it. Mm. Let you not be that I didn't go to school. school. <laughs> mm. So we, we have to be very um, conscious when it comes to career choice. And a lot of parents influence the choice of careers. Like, they are, there's nothing wrong with you guiding your word towards like you know the reality of the world we're in or probably from your own mistake you want to correct it but you don't force career choice on on your children there are children that will say oh i want to now in the university we have a music department and they try to say i want to i I think i have this thing for for music from sunday school days to joining of band or choir to whatsoever but i want to do it i want to be professional in that and the person says i want to go and study uh, music your father will say god forbid (laughs) you see me (laughs) laughing Music, she reminded me of something. <laughs> Please let me say it before I remember. Okay, okay, okay. Say, say, say. So it just reminded but me that growing up, I actually wanted to be a choir mistress. <laughs> hey, no wonder you are trying. To, no, wonder, no wonder you are trying to form one choir group <laughs> with uh, somebody in the house. Okay, I will not call the name. <laughs> but, Already, they thing. have tagged the registration fee. Wow. That five five thousand wow. for those that are interested. I was like, wow, <laughs> registration. <laughs> that I'm, choir I'm group. I'm just thinking of an African parent that you just go to and say, ah, ah I want to study uh, music. Mm. The eye, <laughs> the anger, <laughs> and the, the, you not you go and join band if you want to learn music. <laughs> <want> <laughs> I should pay school fees for you to go and study well, music. I want to be an artist. I want to be drawing. Drawing you what? <laughs> drawing. <laughs> I, I, I was sitting down somewhere. Mm. Then I had one lady discussing she was just complaining like this school somebody is studying music just see course of uh four years Mm. now uh, six years on Mm. on that course and you just see the music that people are saying music music literally somebody is just studying physics and they are saying that somebody's (laughs) You know, you know what, 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 I was what like, happened to that? I was like, oh no, oh no. I, I just imagine, you know, what was going in her, in her mind then, you know, uh, coupled with the issue of strike. I, I believe that's the reason why she said a course of four, four years. years. Six, now she's six years and then she's checking, she's looking at the stress, you know, that she's even going so through in the school. And then when way. you talk music <laughs> out there, you, you, you know, when you talk music, like... So you mean you go to university? Uh, they don't. You know, people outside they don't see 
the professional angle of it. Yeah. Yeah, that physics, the physics that she's saying is attached to it because you calculate sound. Mm. <laughs> Math is there. Mm. But they just see it as just normal band. You play this, so you play you keyboard. You pay school fees for you to go and learn how to sing. To you sing? see the problem? Join the band. Yeah, join the band. <laughs> the problem lies in this, that people don't understand that this sto- these other things have things going on with them Mm. i was interested in interior decoration at some point so i went to do a research about interior decoration and design Mm. and i was saying oh interior decoration and design is not just you just come and look at the place and like okay so now i think this place would be this beautiful if you do this and you do that Mm. and i said let me go and check it out and they were asking if i had chemistry or physics and all these others okay so you are working with colors and you're working with chemicals yes because you're working with colors, you're working okay. with chemicals, you're working with how well would this angle work with this angle. So you're basically doing a whole lot of construction in the room. That's a lot of things going in interior I think design these and decoration. People that are doing decoration left, right, and center in this country, we have to check their this thing. Their qualification. Co- yeah. Yes, if they <laughs> truly <laughs> have that. They are so on your but own. but that was what, that was, that, that's just one part of it. But hmm. you, you would come out and tell somebody, "I want to do interior decoration or interior hmm. design," and the person just, just tells you, "Is it not just to get satins yeah, and yeah. materials and just start working?" But it's not all about this that. You have to have. Mean. Yeah, it's more than that. You have to create the angles that you want. This is how I want you to come out. This is how I want you to work. You have to calculate everything. There's it's it works with calculation, it works with careful attention Hmm. and all that. Same thing as music. You're talking about music. You have syncopations, you have scales, you have type um you have notes that you need to hit. There are other there are a lot of things that are associated with music, but when we go to join the band and we just no, you are doing a half switch, no full switch, just turn and sing like this. <laughs> and you think that you have gone somewhere because it comes out nice. Mm. But that's not music. Mm. Ma- music is a whole lot of mo- other things. Take acting for instance. You find people going to do theater art. Mm. But 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 Those but people, people think but people think that <laughs> people <laughs> think that you can just stand up and wake up this mo- just because you're charismatic you can be an actor. Mm. No, that's mm. not what it is. Mm. Like it takes a lot. Do you know back then um during my undergraduate days I had uh, I was supposed to pick an elective mm. from like theater art and had never had interest for anything that has to do with acting and all of that. So I was to pick elective. I was asked, is it not possible that I don't pick an elective in this place? They said, you have to pick. And when I picked that elective, at some point, I was like, wow, these people are going through a lot. Mm. But people out there just say, eh? In fact, a story was told of a professor that was lecturing and then the, the theater was just behind his lecture hall. Mm. And just while they were rehearsing, acting and all of that, I said, how can a parent send his child to school just to come and be playing around mm. and all of that? But mm people are at home they see they watch some of these movies and they get inspired they get motivated mm-hmm. they learn moral lessons and all of that the basic point about career choice like like we brought this topic is for you to identify your areas of strength even before picking a course what are your areas of strengths in terms of passion what about skills how how good it's it, it's going to flow when when you are passionate about it when you have interest about it and all it flows when you get that course you study it i know we we have a system where in fact even if you don't apply for a course they end up giving you think somebody <laughs> applying for mass communication and they are giving you zoology or well it's not possible because that's no, art and so science yeah, but they yeah. give you religion and philosophy mm. they give CRS. you crs they give you islamic <laughs> student you know studies and that went to apply for uh, what was it? I think it was political science, and it gave him local government uh, development story, something like that. So left local them, government they gave him a smaller one, and, you know, the one <laughs> and I'm lost me. because that that's not what this child wants mm. to do. Is mm. the one that you go for a science course, for example, or even art, and then you fail. You have that second chance, which is another probation period. Mm. You fail, and then you'll be withdrawn. You are left to pick another course, and guess where? education f- faculty of education like i used to think that the faculty of education should have the best brains yes, because we're exactly. talking about so people people that at the end of the day are going to be impacting they are the ones that will teach mm. other people mm. but yet you see in our institution apart from the fact that they give people courses they didn't apply for mm. they end up 
people that fail in their various transferring them to faculties or yeah you, you, you went for medicine and then you, you couldn't meet up then you are asked to go back to a, a, a physics education for example mm-hmm. like why we sh- in education we should have the best brain mm-hmm. that shouldn't be dumping ground exactly. it should be and where you yes. carefully, carefully select selected. the best and so that at the end of the day even our educational system like we will not be having the issues that we are having no. today but would you blame the institution because at, it's the same country where you have minister of education being an accountant mm. not somebody with educational background and all of that so how do you expect policies to be made that are going to be favorable in terms of education i was going to add on what you're saying mm. quite unfortunate that we have we live in a country like this that if you hear somebody saying oh no i applied for this education physical education computer education chemistry education or all that and it's so long as it has education at the mm. end people think that is because you did not meet the cut off mark in jam yes yes I agree. so you mm. rarely find somebody that wants to really be that person that would impact knowledge to other people mm. you when rarely when I find applied it. for mass communication mm. someone saw the results and said, with this result you are applying for this course and i was like but that's what i want <laughs> so how does the result because i want to apply for this i shouldn't do well in exams mm. I should just get anything mm. because the no 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 that, no that's no, how no. people and I, it's because of the system how the system is is that's why people have also thought in that direction that mm. when you say you are in education then it means that you failed because it's always open to when you fail in your in your mm-hmm. uh, uh, your department mm-hmm. then they take you to yeah. that particular place yeah. and now i was in in one of the state's college of education and then while the lecturer was teaching the lecturer now asks, how many of you college of education hmm. how many of i think he was teaching about teaching methodology something like that hmm. teaching methods and he said how many of you that hall was packed almost 600 students hmm. is an elective or gst okay, course okay. gst course people from different um, department okay. same institute of education hmm. how many of you want to be teachers do you know that you cannot count all to five hands that we're up so 600 the lecturer now said so what are you people doing exactly. here why are you here why, why are you here? here so that's the career choice these parts that you're going is it that because you have an uncle in that college of education so you are going there mm-hmm. or because you're a lecturer in that college of education you go to your village and pack 10 20 people and say come see admission go there and then they don't have interest in that part mm-hmm. no wonder people go to institution they come out and they are not practicing mm-hmm. in that field so why waste that four years because people will tell you today see is nigeria will collect any course at the end of the day is the opportunity is just the qualification why do we have to think in that direction mm-hmm. that is just the quality just get the qualification like you have somebody they will just put you anywhere can you not follow your line of interest and do better instead of you wasting four years and coming out with certificate and you go for interview they ask you where is your area of strength you say anywhere Mm. you i I think you shared your experience about how you found yourself in your field you were already passionate about Mm. like communication Mm. and somebody just said "Ah, why not you were uh, emceeing and all of that Mm. and you went for the same course Mm. and you learned better how to even MC you get because all these are, are things that are actually being taught mm. if you have interest in cooking mm. you go and study food and nutrition or food management or all of that you come out better mm. because we're talking about passion but you know you are passionate about um catering cooking and you go to university because you don't want it to look like you don't want anybody to look down on you then you pick um let's say psychology and then you think how will it add up to that passion that you have you graduate because you don't have interest in that uh, psychology anything mental health you come out and you go and open your catering uh, business so why not you would have studied uh, um, um, food management or if you, wanted to even go to the medical you get food and nutrition Mm, yeah. you would have been yeah. a dietitian mm-hmm. and i also think that another thing that affect is um childhood fantasies you know, a lot of times when we're growing up, what do you want to be? Oh, medical doctor. Oh, lawyer. Like, you always hear the high and mighty professions. You will not hear teacher, mm-hmm. pastor, mm-hmm. missionary, all these ones. You won't hear. Yeah, you just I keep... You. Actually, yes, I actually, <laughs> now there are, there are people that, that, that. that... Now there are people that are actually calling out those ones. No, you but before, you... Missionary. Okay. So, so they were it. graduating. 
from the university and then okay. during their thanksgiving service so they were acting like a playlet and then everybody oh thank god i graduated in first class at last my <laughs> dream come true a, a medical doctor and the other way say oh i graduated with the second class upper i'm going to get a job at this place and the other person came she was crying oh. after four years third class <laughs> well who employ me i can't even go for a masters the only thing i can do is to become a missionary oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so it's what the dumb is like <laughs> you see why we don't we don't give relevance to what we are supposed to give relevance that's the only thing she can become nice to become a missionary I so i feel in. that yeah, okay. um, childhood fantasies mm. affect our choice of career um options because you feel like oh since when i was small i've been seeing medical doctor so i have to be a medical doctor but the idea is as we grow you know, when we grow, we're supposed to be better. Mm. We're supposed to do better. We act better. We talk everything. That's why we're growing. If we're not to be better, then we remain children. Mm. So as we're growing, we're supposed to be better. So when you grow and change what you want to be, it's okay. It doesn't make you a, 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 a weakling. It doesn't make you a loser. So when we don't outgrow those fantasies, then we, we, we eventually find ourselves in in things that we, we we naturally know that we cannot afford you know that you don't have the, the ca- your, your your brain don't have the capacity for this department but you want to prove a point so you remain there mm. <laughs> i remember when i got to a position where i needed to pick a department i really wanted to be in the science department i knew what i was good at all but I just wanted to be in the science department. And when I went there, I didn't even last a month. Like, they just came one day and didn't see my table and my chair. I just carried it. <laughs> but <laughs> today, I came when no one was around like, because I was avoiding shame and all of that. But the good thing is that when you realize where you're good at, even when you're in the wrong place, you can easily just move back it, it saves us a lot imagine um a dispensation now you find a lot of business people ceo mm. uh, marketing and all so why didn't you just go for the marketing mm. business and finance and all of that you would have even been doing way better than you are doing now and because it's like you're borrowing from another place and being in a different yeah. place and it's not helping you are reading and, and you begin all over exactly you just begin to learn yes. all over yes. i was also going to add taking a cue from what you just said um and what you also mentioned about how the education system is now really weakened because you just put people where they don't really have interesting Mm -hmm. little wonder you go to schools classrooms and find teachers that really are not sensitive to their students Mm -hmm. i had different teachers i i I love music i loved music since i was growing up reason you, you won't blame them. That the, I'm not. I'm not blaming. That takes care of. I'm not blaming that them. That trained teachers and over six hundred people, and you ask, five. and you barely five ten hands like this. They I'm want to be teachers. Actually, you, you understand. <laughs> I'm not actually blaming them. I'm not blaming them. Mm. It's the way the society has turned mm. out in our side in, in this part of the world. But what I'm talking about here is one of the other factors that affects career choices. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, you don't have teachers that will groom you from child from where you have picked interest and then this child, okay, no, I see that you're interested in this. Mm-hmm. I want to work with you so that I will see you grow to that level. You don't have teachers like that. But as I was saying, I've loved music all the while. Mm-hmm. I've been dramatic all my life. You can see it is evident. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but but while I was growing up, anytime they say, join this club, join that club, I'm trying to run away. I'm trying to dodge. Mm-hmm. And one of my teachers, if I remember from primary school correctly, he said, you have to be in this music department. And I want to see you here for drama mm. next time. Mm. <laughs> I, I jokingly told him that I'm not going to come. Mm. and But I still found myself in the music club. Mm. I don't know how it happened, mm. but I still found myself in the music club. I also later on still found myself doing drama. And I still don't understand how that happened either, but I still found myself doing that. That's because he saw potential and he thought that he should work on that. Some teachers do that. You still find people like that, but they are really a minority. However, there was also another instance illustration that i was going to talk about down to personality yeah personality some teachers they have it in In them them. but others don't and you can't really 
put it on them that they don't have. Yeah, tr- that's very true. Yeah. I'm not putting that aside, but I'm 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 coming from a different angle now. So when we got to the point where you have to choose whether you want to do sciences or art, the school I come from, nicely enough, they have a guidance counselor, this person that would guide you mm-hmm. in your choice of career and all that. Interesting, nice. Mm-hmm. I loved that idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, she comes and asks you. What do you think you want to do? If she, if you tell her and she's like, according to your grades, I think this is better for you. Mm. Don't you think so? Mm. So she's trying to make you adjust your mind. Mm. So you don't struggle. So, da- so that you don't struggle. But you still find some of us, w- even though we already have this kind of grades and she thinks that this kind of grades will make you to scientists. Mm. Mm. Some of us just chose, a number of us at that moment just said, no, we need to be in the art class. Agreed, they allowed us to be in the art class. And one of the teachers that we had came in and she looked at the people in the classroom. She said, you, you and you, what are you doing in this class? Hmm. And and the uh, one of us answered, because I want to, this is what I want to study. And she said, no, you can't be in this class. You're too intelligent for this class. Whoa. See, two different mm, characters mm, of mm, teachers. Mm. That's the thing. That's the problem we have already from child from grooming. You're already hearing things like, if you're in the art class, it means you're a dullard. Mm. It makes no sense. I went to the art class because I wanted to be free. Mm. I don't want. I hated calculations. No, don't tell me not. Let me not calculate nothing. Mm. <laughs> so I just went to the art class in peace because I know that that if I go to the sciences, I'm just going to perform terribly. That's because I know who I am. See, it's the same impression now. Mm. She ha- Prudence have built that impression that, okay, and that is what a lot of people out there to think, that science is, is difficult. Mm. Science has to do with calculation and all of that. And when you meet science students, like I mean science students, mm. who tell you that, I can't do what you're doing. Exactly. Like I cannot read, <laughs> read, and read. Just give me the figures. I put one plus mm. this plus, and, and let it be. Mm. So we need to have a system that that allows for that is really thorough when it comes to um, like career choice. You don't just put people in department faculty because you want to just balance your system. When mm. people don't apply for a particular course, what, the, must the person be there? Mm. The problem with our own like this part of the world is we go and introduce courses mm. that we don't even have provisions for them yes. in in our country. Yes. That's why people will go and study a course. You go, to, you travel out, and then you go and see some of these courses. You bring them down here, maybe for some political reasons, mm. and people study. They finish, and there's no provision Not for them to work. Like, what do you want to go and do? Be digging grave or what? Or what? They introduce courses that you see literally. See, to, as I speak to you, there are people that I know that are in the university. I look at the courses there. I'm not looking down on the course, mm. good course, mm. but. The system, the mm. country does not have yeah, provisions for that, for for that particular, course. for you to even practice and, and that course. No wonder we have, even with the health challenges that we're having in this country, that we 48 and all are assisting in terms of health issues. Our doctors are saying that most of them are like, no, they want to leave the system. Why? They have the knowledge. Mm. Head but knowledge. the things to mm. practice things. is not there. No mm. equipment, no mm. this, no that. And then it's uh, it's quite frustrating. And that's how if you go to the university as well, you see a lot of courses. Mm. Yet, uh, when you graduate, there are no provisions. So what is influencing? Is it that the university threw you to that? There are people that rejected admission. Mm. But because it's in this part of the world, to even get the admission is, is a struggle. Mm. So, so people just accept whatever. Anything. And that is why at the end of the day, too, the system will still employ you whether it's your field or it's not somebody that studied um let's say biochemistry you see him as uh, in the bank at the customer care unit yes. why is his uncle like cool that is the uh, um, general manager or whatsoever we need to do this and see i've seen people that have also graduated from school but because the system is not open to them and they don't have any skill at hand mm. and that's why i ask the question why school in the mm. first place mm. and then secondly if you are to drop the educational qualification that you have what will end you a living so we need to think outside the box sure. we need to be global when it comes to our thinking okay i want to go and study this what's what why do i want to study it in the first place some of us is unhealthy competition that is making you to pick that part that career path mm. that you are 
pa- as parents, you are influencing my child must be a doctor because in that my friend's family, his first son is a doctor. Mm. In our lineage, we must have a lawyer and you want to sacrifice your child's destiny. He wants to be something else, but because you want a name for your family, the mm. child must be a lawyer. He goes, he performs woefully. At the end of the day, he's, even if he performs well, he comes out, he's not willing, he's not passionate about thing, the, the, the job, and you're there saying wasted investment. Mm. Or for some people, they are even satisfied that because he's already a barrister, they have a barrister in their home, but no impact, no, no value, mm. nothing. You remember we talked about a good mm. name. Mm. So let's, let's, let's choose a career path that at the end of the day, we are going to make impact. Mm. Today, a lot of graduates are going into businesses yes. and they are doing great. So think about it that you went to, 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 to study marketing. Mm. You went to study yes. business and uh, business management and all of that. Your business, I'm not saying that those that didn't study the business are not doing well. They are doing yeah, well. But imagine but what you would have done, done if with you that, with that year. So let our career choice not be influenced by unhealthy competition by what people will say ah, I want to, I'm, I'm really passionate about teaching but ah, when I go for education they will think because I am dull or all of that I remember like I'm, I'm really happy that back then um, my choice of career path like it wasn't influenced by I know people have advice and all of that but I actually knew what I wanted and I stick to it and thank God even in my application for the course that I wanted to study it was not switched or I was not taken to any department mm-hmm. whatsoever and I remember that after thank you <laughs> uh, it's worth celebrating in, in our system <laughs> because a lot of people that study the courses that they did how many of them actually got you see that a cause of um, because of the unhealthy competition mm-hmm. Let's say mass communication. The, the school is just to admit 200 people. And you see 21,000 people applying for that course. Mm. And no wonder you have orders spread to other. Yes. Because why are we having 21,000 people applying for that courses? Mm. And then other department, you barely see five people yes. that are applying. So some of us is on LD competition. Or mm. one of our lecturers back then said that, oh, you are coming, you are studying. My 100 level, he said, all of you see your faces. You came to study mass communication. I even wear these suits. Like we had dress code. Because you want to see your face on TV, right? Mm-hmm. When they lock you for four days in the cell, <laughs> maybe because of a news report, that's when you will know that <laughs> he was sharing his it's experience. Yeah, that he was sharing his experience that ah, he was locked, and since then he said his face or his voice will not be heard on any media mm-hmm. station and all of that. So, what exactly is influencing? Is it passion? Is it you're skillful in that area. Is it something that you know you have strength in, in line with, it's like it's in line with your personality or because Mr. A is there, that's why you're there. After my junior work, I was, I was to transfer to a federal school. And then from where I actually did my, my junior secondary in, in an equa um, school. And when I was going to the, the federal school for SS123, so I went to the school and it's unfortunate at that point, Almost everybody failed junior work there. So when they saw the results, everybody was wild. I was not even excited mm-hmm. about it. So I just knew what I wanted. But every, no, the guidance and counseling is not even everybody that's, that, works. that uh, is actually True. a counselor yes. there. Because yes. some people, they just got, that's the opportunity, that's the office that is available or Truly, their uncle actually made them to study guidance and counseling and then they got a job in that area too. Because you are asking, what do I want to be? I'm saying, this is what I want. And you are saying, no, mm. I should be in that place. And I insisted, no. And then the person is saying, they should, you're sending your information and register to a science, to science class. I told my mom, I will not go for any science courses. I'm going to um, art. Mm. They refused. I, I, I ended up in social science class because they insisted I have to be in science class. And I refused. I remember when they even took me to social science. Okay, since I insisted that that's not what I want, mm. they now took me to social science thinking maybe I'd so I would change my mind. Mm. In fact, in the social science, I carried my like Jamima, I carried my table and my chair. I went to A class. See why we are friends. I'm not, you're not my friend. I went to A class. Like in my school, A, B is pure art. Okay. So my name, while my name is in the register of D class social mm-hmm. science, I carried my table and my chair to A. Like I don't want the B, I want the A, the, the art. I was there when they call register. I know that that's not where they, they took me to. I carried myself there. When they are calling register and then they finish. 
I will raise my hand. I did not hear yeah, my, my name. <laughs> so the the what do they call themselves in charge of the four master will be like, ah, ah, your name is not here. I was not giving all of that. I knew where my name was, but I, as far as I'm concerned, this is where I want mm. to be. Mm. And he will go come back. I'm still in say, Joyce, where d- my name is being called in D class mm. and is absent yeah, that is being marked. But I insisted I stayed there. After staying, and one of the reasons why I stay, apart from the passion, then when you go to school, you don't see the gates till when the school vacates, mm-hmm. the boarding school. And I know arts classes, they go for excursion. So, <laughs> ah, I cannot miss that excursion. Mm-hmm. Because like you seeing the gate before vacation was mm-hmm. something else. Mm-hmm. I stayed there. Absent was being marked. No problem. <laughs> After the excursion, I saw that the team was not watching. <laughs> <laughs> the form master advised me just go back. I carried the table like that. I went and I apologized to the form master there and I said it. I didn't want social science. I want I said just be here. Mm-hmm. So that's how some people are being forced to study courses that it is not their area of strength, it's not their personality and all that. We must learn not to influence, not to force. You can advise, you mm-hmm. can guide, yes. but don't force people that your friend has a lawyer, has a doctor, has a you don't have to have that. There are people that are singing that are making it. Mm-hmm. There are people that are drawing that are making it. Mm-hmm. Who told you that your child that is good with art and craft will not make it in that and that George, that if 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 you are we are to ask when you talk about making it, mm. what's the what's definition? The what did you mean making by making it? You understand? You, you see, yeah. making but it. When you hear people, it that they, they they make people to understand. It's like hitting the jackpot. It, you know, know, getting money and all of that. Building houses exactly. left, right, and center, and then buying big cars. Mm. You know, having more than one car, and then you are living that big, big. They are describing like, the musicians. You, know, some people, you, 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 some you understand? people go to the extent of saying that their children are their retirement plan. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so you, 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 so see, you want, you, you have a lot of expectations. When your child says, imagine a retirement when, plan, studying medicine, uh, yeah. studying, uh, saying I want to go for music. When mm. your child, your father has already planned in his head that like, this is my time and plan then you come to him and say you are picking uh music you do change of course so that man will not agree I that's think, why I some think parents, children will uh, agree and study what the parents want when they finish they drop certificate the certificate and, and then go they back for what mm. they want because I, they force them i think i think we need to call the attention of parent and then you know relate re, 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 relate no um the present situation, mm. you understand, the is reality te- the reality. Mm. Okay. You know, how I will say, "Tunti be harshi, harshi ya You know, the re- reality, re- reality. <laughs> reality, the reality on ground mm. is that it's hitting on everybody, mm. and then people are beginning to think outside the box. Mm. That you will now see now children and parents are even advising their parent, uh, their children, uh, parents are advising their children mm. that. You need to do something extra, even though I know you are doing good in school. Mm. You are doing good in this in, in this part of uh, uh, studies, math, English, and then name them. You know, they try to encourage, but they tell them that you need to do something extra. You have to look outside the box. And now I can hear some parents telling their children that, you know, it's not school that will give you everything. Mm. It's good to hear that. But then you don't hear such... Look at children that they are well guided and they choose the path that truly they want. They have passion and then the parent guided them. Mm. You will see them doing extremely well. They are satisfied where they are. They are happy. They are giving joy to their parents even if they are not giving them money like money like the other parent will think. But they feel their children are doing well. They are exploring. They are happy where they are. I think that gives the parent Sambo's joy. Support. Yes, I know satisfaction. A professor, mm. like he's a professor, his wife is also a professor. When it comes to academics, you, you know what it means. Mm. At least they have paid their dues and all of that. They you are comfortable. Academic house. Like they are comfortable. But mm. let me tell you something. Their first their son, first son that is studied law, is a barrister and is also lecturing, has a cast hand, mm. is into that business. Mm. His daughter, first daughter that studied, um, she did theater at, like, is a tailor. Mm. She has a skill. Mm. The one that studied medicine is a makeup artist. Mm. The one that studied economics, she does beats. At some point, she was making massa, mm. like mm. she was making massa and selling. Like, just think about I'm that. I'm thinking of activating that massa. Like, me. so, 
<laughs> don't just tie success mm. to educational qualification. Mm. It's foundational for you to go to it school. It's good for you to acquire damage. knowledge. Mm. In fact, see, it gives you an edge. Oh, the good job. We live in a society where for you to get all oh, the big jobs, the this, you must have certain educational qualification. Today, if you say you want to be a lecturer, but it, when you hear an institution looking for lecturers, if you see the educational qualification that they are asking for, mm. it's good for you to go to school to ha- have all of that. You can get a good job mm. and all. But see, if you know why people are doing things, you own the business. Mm. And you have people that went to school work for you as yes. well. So the school, there's nothing wrong with it. I know a, a graduate of mass communication that is working an E3 of a person that didn't go to school. Mm. So see, don't tie success just to educational qualification. Like I said earlier, and I'll still repeat this question, if we are to drop educational qualifications aside, what will end you a living? Mm. Start thinking in that direction. We live in a time where the reality that is faced, we are faced with is quite challenging. Encourage your children from primary school, secondary school, what, know their personality, their area of strength, what's their passion. You see some, some children like girls going to the grass, trying to plate it. Mm. You see a lady uh, has clothes to be torn, she'll get needle and thread trying to right. sew it. And all of that. So, what's their area of strength? Some of the guys or the boys in the house, they are, they want to be touching every switch. They are, oh, that's mm-hmm. your, go and learn this. You get, it's an added knowledge. And when they eventually learn all of that skills, mm-hmm. it's going to pay them. So, let's encourage our words. Let's encourage our children. Let's encourage ourselves. When it's time for you to pick that part, make sure that it's not just your friend on healthy competition or whatsoever that is influencing it. But something you're passionate at the end of the day, you add value, you see, credibility, you insist, and you insist about this um like you are hammering mm-hmm. a lot about this unhealthy competition. Yes. And and that is it. True. That is it. Because if you talk about the unhealthy competition, we have the one that thrives among us mm-hmm. and we have the one that you know is even leading mm-hmm. when you talk about like having the the gold medal the 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 parent Mm. you understand because we are neighbor with you and then your child is studying law and my child have to study medicine simply because i'm in competition Mm. with you Mm. see leave those children Mm -hmm. leave them they are they have nothing to do with whatever (laughs) no what i'm saying don't bring them into your unhealthy competition they don't want to know Mm. Between me and you, possibly maybe it's because of broom. <laughs> you understand? Maybe it's because of broom mm. that I'm having issue with with you. Why would you bring their career, their future career, and attach it to the problem you are having with broom? Mm. Me and you as adults, mm. no, it sh- it shouldn't be. And I think parents should should really. You see this issue of uh, we need to struggle. You know, the pa- the father is there, the mother is there, and you don't pay attention to, to your child. to to the child. Is is really affecting us because this is what is 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 now becoming. You know, like see how the society is becoming. It's mm-hmm. it, it all boils down to the family. Mm-hmm. It starts all there. When you talk family, you talk church, you talk society. And that's why if we get it right in the family, definitely the church will be a place to go. A society will be a place, you know, to train a child. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gone by the days whereby then, you know, they said uh, a community trained a child. Now is a child to a father. Nobody wants to know because of the unhealthy competition that is going. Your child is doing well in this aspect of it. Your neighbor is jealous, taking your Mm -hmm. child's silpas or shoe or shirt to one babalawo. You, you, that's what is happening. One that's the that reality. That one you understand. That you see, this exam that you passed, my knee, like, mm. supposed to be a neighbor that should celebrate your success. I see this exam that you passed, it's not as if you're more intelligent than my son. It's because you're an indigent, that's why you passed and he failed a federal <laughs> exam. Why, why would, why would... <laughs> you know, you know, Hi. what I want us to actually live with, very Maybe true talk about this. I should just round up. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what I want us to actually live with right now is that as much as possible, do what you're convinced to do and not because somebody has said you must do this. Whether because your father or your uncle. it's not about what somebody tells you. It's about, 
okay, I'm not saying that it's your life, so you can live it anyhow okay. you want. Okay. No. <laughs> hey, <laughs> well. Please clear that area. Let that be guided. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, in as much as you might even want to have, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about unhealthy competition. Mm. What would the society say if mm. I do this? What would my neighbor say? That's what I'm talking about. Clarity. Yeah clarity now your understanding <laughs> it's not let's let it not be that it's somebody who does not really matter that is influencing your choice of career that's what i'm saying let it not be that somebody who does not matter is the person that is influencing your career choice it's really important that you take careful consideration about your career choice be it you as as an individual or even a parent to a child the child's career choice is really key and you need to pay close attention to that. But as much as possible, since we are Christians, Jesus Christ is the center of everything and he said he will guide us and he will lead us. So just make sure that you focus on that. And that's about the much we can take on today's life today. Uh, thank you, Solomon. Thank you, Jemima. Thank you, Joyce. It was really fun. Ah, but we still have to before any career you're a Christian, don't forget. Mm. Yes. Very true. true. So if you are a doctor, you are a Christian doctor. doctor. Very if you are a communicator, a presenter, a Christian presenter. So mm. before any career, know that you are a Christian. There's an assignment for you in that career. Mm. So you go there and represent Jesus. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. So thank you for those very very heartfelt words. But that's about all we can take. And so we say bye. And see you tomorrow, same time.